title of this is, Am I the Askonaut for Wanting to Uninvite My Mom to My Wedding? Here's the story. So I, 24 female, am getting married in September of 2024. For some backstory, my parents started their divorce when I was 13. It was a long and nasty divorce and didn't end until I was 16. They had a very toxic marriage, so it was for the better. Through the entire divorce, my mom said bad things about my dad, like he's a cheater or he ruined their marriage or just calling him names. Not okay, ma. Not okay. He never said anything about my mom. He's the type of guy who says, hey, that's your mom. Don't talk about her like that. Even after the divorce. And he never cheated. I know this because my entire childhood, my mom made me spy on my dad, like going through his phone or tagging along with him to work or the gym. Basically, anywhere my dad went, I went so that I could tell my mom exactly what he was doing. What? There's so much wrong with this. Fast forward to now, I have two beautiful girls and my mom is remarried and my dad has a girlfriend. Well, at any event, even my daughter's birthday, my mom sits with her husband and the second my dad shows up, she starts saying snide comments under her breath. It makes every event awkward and tense. Even my fiance's family can feel the tension and ask questions. And this tension from my mom makes my dad feel like he should leave so no one is uncomfortable. Well, my dad and his girlfriend have this beautiful property that they are generously letting us use for the wedding. My mom has all these complaints that she's not going to mingle with my dad or even look at him. She's even gone as far as to offer to pay for a different venue in hopes that we would uninvite my dad. I love my dad and mom very much, but feeling the tension and it being like this my whole life and now the fact that it's affecting my kids too, it makes me so frustrated. So... Would I be the asshole if I uninvited my mom to my wedding? Am I the ass cannot? We have so much to talk about. We're going to change a shirt. Let's talk about this story, shall we? Let's talk about this story. How, how juvenile is mom to at this point? I don't know how old she is now. Okay. OP is 24. Let's go out on a limb and, and create an average here and say she's what? 44, 45 mom. I mean, she was 20 ish. 45 plus, let's say 44, 45 plus. Okay. For her to still be at this phase in life where she has to, she has to talk shit on people whenever they come into the room and you know, she's doing it. She's doing it to make him uncomfortable and make him leave because that's her game. That's worked so far. It's worked. She's, she's, she's this, she's a bizzo, which is the female version of a brozo. Mom is for sure to have this, this, this level of audacity to impose her will on everyone around her, to impose her discomfort on everyone around her and, and to, to give you every sign right now that that is not going to be any different at your wedding to the point where she's trying to get you to move to a different venue and uninvite your father. Those are two very separate things. Look, if you aren't comfortable being at my father's property, because there's no way that you, you know, even if you don't talk to him, you're at his house. That probably is just a little salty. It stings too much, right? For a slug like you, having it at a different venue, wanting to is one thing. Doing it to uninvite him is a completely other one. He didn't do anything wrong. And her, her guilt projected upon to him through you as a child op let's oh we gotta break this down a little bit okay what she had you do as a child is a thousand times not okay she was using you to spy on your dad because she was so insecure that he was seeing someone else and he never was which probably was a she was messing around and was just projecting that guilt upon to him by assuming he was too but to have you as a child have to spy on him and report back to her is super f***ed up. And now, as an adult, her mission is to just make everybody as uncomfortable as possible. Cool. Not on my wedding day, ma. Nope. Not on my wedding day. This is a person that, that no one chooses to have in their life. At some point, this person burns every bridge that they can see or have ever traveled because they want you to feel as uncomfortable as they are inside. My God, this woman must have that salty slug feeling all the time to just be writhing in agony from having to just even see her ex-husband who did not a goddamn thing wrong, but it just makes her sick. Just makes her sick to see him. We've, we've met these people, right? Everybody's run into someone like this and they're the most 
<laughs> They're the person that you never want to be around again. What do you think is going to happen here, mom? Do you think that the whole world is just going to bow down at your feet and be like, yes, oh, yes, please, whatever you want. That's how we're going to do it. We're going to move to a different venue. We're going to uninvite dad. Why? Because what you want goes on my wedding day, right? No, no one's ever going to talk to you again, mom. Because you suffocate the life out of every room you enter with your obnoxious, stanky bullshit. GTFO, your invitation has been rescinded. But I'm the mother of the bride. Yeah, we know. Says a lot about you, Bizzo. Bizzo of the bride. <laughs> Extra spicy dusty has entered the chat. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. I just don't understand. I am sure that someone would be willing to step in because this madre makes no secret that she's a giant bizzo, right? Everybody who knows this woman or knows OP is like, oh, your mom. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. We haven't been to any family things in the past five years, but you're, you know, your mom. <laughs> yeah, I know. Sorry. Yeah, I get it. Wish I could just not go. It's your wedding day. This is, it's okay to tell her no. And, and this is, this is the biggest time where you have the most ammo to say no and to tell her to sit down. She's not going to behave. I was thinking here, you could have a talk with her and be like, okay, look, mom, we've never had this conversation, but we need to have this conversation. This is my wedding day. Your bullshit will not fly. Put it in the back seat. put it in the trunk, lock it up, put it in. Uh, and, and shove it off a cliff into into a quarry uh, and, and let it sink to the bottom and just leave it there. If only for today. And she would say, oh, yes, of course. And then two minutes into this freaking wedding, she's going to be talking shit about your dad. You can't trust her to behave. I think the only option you have is to boot her out. Unfortunately, I mean, fortunately, but unfor unfortunately, you're in this position in the first place. Here's the cool part, though. This is such an opportunity for you to plant a, f a flag and say no. You create this boundary now, and then all you have to do is uphold it. The pain is right now. The pain is in this step of standing up to her that one time, right? It gets easier after this. So you do it this one time. It's scary, but it gets easier after this. And you have to do it at some point. You have to stand up to her. Yes, it's affecting your children. If not for you, Mama Bear, come on, do it for her.